Hello and welcome to this tutorial on cropping images in PHP. So this uh, video is a continuation from the resize image. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, please uh, go check it out so that you can follow along. This is because uh, cropping images is exactly like resizing image to an extent. So I don't want to start from scratch. All right, so let me explain what's going on here. Let me, if you don't, if you don't have the other video, I will just scroll down so that you can uh, copy the code in here. Uh, you can pause this video if you have to so that you copy everything and up to down there. So let me explain what's going on here. Here we have a form. This form captures the image, uh, enables the user to supply an image. And then at the top here, we check if the post button was clicked. And if it was, then we check if what was supplied is actually an image slash JPEG. If it is, then we move it to a specific location and then we assign that location to the variable file. And then we send it to the uh, function called resize image and we want it resized to resolution of a maximum resolution of 300 pixels. And then we echo it out. Okay, so this is what's going on. And then at the top here, we have the resize function, which we created. We are supplying it with two arguments, which is the first one is the file name and the other one is the maximum resolution, which is uh, 300 in this case. And so we first check if the file actually exists. If it does, we create an image resource called original image. And then we check the resolution of this original image. And then here we figure out the ratio of reduction that we have to do so that it's equal on both the width and the height so that we don't stretch our image. Then here we confirm if the original image uh, resource exists and then we create a new image with the new width and new height, which is smaller than the, this is the resized version of the original. And then we copy the contents of the original file to the new image. And then we render out the new image as a JPEG. And there we are done. So let me save this as a uh, crop instead of resize. So you say crop.php like that. Okay. And then let me run it in Firefox. Let's launch it. And you only see this when uh, uh, PHP is not activated. So to do that, we type localhost at the top here and press enter. All right, so let me browse for an image. Now I'll use my wife's images here. Hopefully she will never watch this video. So hit post. And there we are. So this image has been resized to uh, a resolution of uh, maximum resolution of 300 pixels. The original image is about 2000. Uh, if I click there, I can see 2200 by 2700. Now, the question is, why do we resize images before we crop them? So this image is like 2200 uh, pixels by 2700. Now, if I want to, res uh, to crop it to 300 pixels, what will happen is I'm going to just get this area of the image, the central part right there, because 300 pixels is about this, this big, 300 by 300. So that's not what I want to get, actually. What I want is to get this whole thing, only that the height should be as small as the width, like this. So this whole thing I want to get. So in order to do that, the best way is to reduce the whole image to a specific resolution, like 300 pixels here. And then the extra part down here, I just crop it out, which will give me a nice square image. So that's what we want to do here. So this is why we resize the image before we crop it. Now, we have to just uh, change a few things here. Let me change this uh, function to crop instead of resize because we are cropping this time. And let me change the reference as well to crop like that and hit save. Okay, so one thing we have to do now is to figure out, originally when uh, resizing uh, in the previous tutorial, we wanted to put, to make sure that the biggest resolution, in this case, the height is longer, it's bigger the biggest resolution is reduced to the maximum resolution, which is 300 pixels. But in this case, we want to do the opposite. We want the minimum resolution to be uh, to be 300 pixels, to be equal to the maximum. Why are we doing this is because if, for example, the height is reduced to 300, then if I want to crop this image, this width is going to be less than 300, which means on this side, I'll have to, I'll have blank pixels here in order to make this a square image. Just imagine this as a square image. If I, I would, I would have to add, there are two ways to make this uh, a square image. I can either add some pixels over here to match the height and the width, or I could just crop out the height to match the width. 
So that's a better option. We don't want to add extra pixels that are doing nothing. We just want to cut out the unnecessary ones. So in order to do this, we must make the shortest, the smallest resolution into the maximum. So to do this, we go down here. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't, it's okay. You understand it as we go on. So let me say if original, let me try original uh, height is greater than the original width. In this case, like that. I uh, add the, that if statement. Let me tab this. If original height is greater than original width, which is exactly what we have in this case, original height is greater than the width. So what we do in this case, we make the width equal to uh, or a maximum resolution right there. So this is working just fine. And on here, I have to just change this to an else statement. And we are done just like that. So or else it j just has to do the opposite. Okay. So just by changing that, let me see what we have achieved so far. Let me browse the same image and hit. If uh, you remember, before I change anything here, if I right click here and check the resolution, you'll find that this image is 247 by 300 pixels. So the 300 is the maximum uh, allowed here. But if I browse and do this again, let me hit post. It looks pretty much the same, but if you check now, oh, actually it hasn't worked. Let me browse again. Hit post. Okay, there we are. It has worked this time. So if I check the image now, you see that the dimensions are 300 by 363. So 300 is no longer the maximum. It's actually the minimum now. This is exactly what we want. So now all we have to do is crop out the exceeding uh, pixels, that the, the pixels that are over 300 pixels, anything above 300. So we're going to cut it around here. So in order to do that, we just repeat ourselves. You see here we had created a new image resource and then copied it. This is exactly how we crop images as well. So in this case, I'll create a new crop image instead of just new image. And then what I want, the resolution of this one will be max res, which is 300 pixels in this case. So both height and width are supposed to be exactly the same because we want this to be a square image. And so now the new image here we are copying this new image, which is the resized version, onto the cropped version. So here, where the original image is, we replace it with a new image, which is this one. And then here, we add the crop image. So we are copying from new image, which is the resized, to the crop version. Now, everything else here uh, will be changed to maximum resolution, because this image, we just want 300 pixels of each in this case, so let me just put max resolution on all of the remaining parameters here. And just like that, we are done. Okay, so let me just uh, browse and open that file and hit post. Okay, nothing has changed because I'm actually creating a JPEG from the new image, which is the resized version. I want, I'm supposed to create it from the cropped version. So let me just replace that right there. And let me try again. Let me do that. And now, as you can see, the image has been cropped. So now if I go to the properties, I'll find that the scale is 300 by 300 pixels, which is what we want. Now, an issue here is that this image has not been cropped in the center per se. It's not in the center. It's been cropped from the top because the top part is what has been taken. OK, now, but what I want is the middle part to be taken instead, because usually that's what uh, when someone is cropping an image, that's the part they want. So in order to do this, to find out how to move this cropping box below, we have to move it in the Y axis in this case. We have to move it in the Y axis, but it won't always be in the Y axis. It might be in the X axis sometimes. So we have to let PHP decide those things. So in order to do this, let's create um, Let's create a variable called diff, which is short for difference. And we're going to say, let me just copy, um, let's say if new new height, okay, the new height of the, this new height is the resized version of the image. Difference is equal to new height minus new width here. Oh, sorry about that, new width. So if, for example, the original height is greater okay so height is bigger so we we'll subtract subtract uh, the width from the height now in this case this is reduced to 300 
and this is still something bigger so we want to get the difference the exceeding pixels down here okay so if this is not true we if this is what will work we change this to width because then in this case width will be bigger so width and height the reason we're doing this is to make sure that whatever answer we get for difference is a positive value we don't want to get negative values so we have to make sure that we are subtracting a big value from a small one. Oh, sorry the other way around a small value from a big one excuse me all right so by the time we get here we're going to have the difference we're going to know the exceeding pixels the exceeding number of pixels okay now the thing is we have to know whether these pixels are in the y or in the x okay now if height is um uh, what do we say if height is bigger like in this image height is bigger so which means these exceeding pixels are in the bigger side which is the height in this case so what we're going to do is let's give values for x and y x is equal to zero but then y okay we want to know we know that if height is bigger then these exceeding pixels exist in the y so y is equal to diff okay because these are the differing uh, uh, pixels okay let's do that the same thing over here only that now the diff is going to be in the X and Y is going to be zero like that so let's make Y zero why are we doing this because if the width is bigger then it means we have to move that uh, resize box in the X which is the width okay now again one more time if let's say uh, this is 300 pixels and this is 300 here the exceeding pixels here we don't want to move this whole uh, crop box down below because if we just get this difference and add it to the y this cropping will be cropped at the bottom so let me let me just make sure that uh, we can see that so let me replace these two at the end with x and then let me replace this one with y okay so let's see what we've done so far with just that let me browse so as you can see here it was cropped on the top and i'm guessing now when i do this it's going to be cropped on the bottom so let me browse this and then add that image and hit post and as you can see it's been cropped from the bottom the top the head is almost uh, cropped out but this is the bottom of the image so because we've added those extra values on the y now instead of doing that we don't want to crop either on the top or on the bottom we want to crop in the middle so how do we achieve that we just divide diff by two okay like that now uh, dividing may uh, yield results that are undesirable with decimal points so in order to avoid that we use the function called round to round it off to the nearest uh, whole number so we're going to do that uh, round like that divided by two okay so when we divide by two what we are telling uh, PHP is that don't move all the way down just move halfway down which leads us into the center of the image so let me browse the image again there we go and then I hit post and as you can see now we've cropped in the middle we've cropped a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom okay so let me look for an image which is bigger on the width instead of the height so that we see that this works either way so let me go here I've got this image of a prince and then I hit post and you see there is is cropped quite nicely in the center okay and then let me browse again for another image uh, just preview this image of prince is like that this is the original image and then as you can see now it's been cropped um, in the center like that so this is exactly what we have been looking for so let me browse again and try another image like this one and hit post and you see that image is cropped nicely like that okay so that's how you crop images with php so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe like the video so that uh, it encourages me to make more videos and i will see you in a later video